Hey, it's Nana Dancer with Live Your Magic Life. And today we're going to discuss setting goals. Setting goals. I always tell people, when you set a goal, set a huge goal. Set a lofty goal. And how do you know when you have the right goal? It's when you tell your friends and your family about it and they fall on the floor laughing at you. And then many people say, well, I don't want to set an unrealistic goal and then set myself up for failure. So let's first get this failure thing out of the way. To fail in life is to experience your first attempt in learning. F-A-I-L. First attempt in learning. So even if you do what you perceive as fail, you've only just met your first roadblock and it's a stepping stone to get to you to your next level. So now that the, the, the fail definition is out of the way, no, you're not setting yourself up for quote unquote failure. There's a difference between a huge goal and an unrealistic goal. An unrealistic goal is me at 40 years old saying that, look, I'm going to pursue the NBA. I'm going to become a professional basketball player because that's just not going to happen at 40. I'm, I'm, I'm too old. I'm not too old in general, but I'm too old at 40 to pursue that goal. So that's an unrealistic goal. Or to say, to catch up with all my work, to catch up with everything that I'm going to do, that I need to do, I'm going to forego sleep. So I have an extra eight hours every day to catch up with all my... That's, that's unrealistic. It doesn't make sense. I'm going to fall asleep during the day and I won't be productive. A huge goal is... Uh, a buddy of mine, Croy Sather, said at the end of 2010, he said to me, Nana, I'm going to run 100 marathons in 100 days, one marathon a day, and at the end of each race, I'm going to give a motivational speech to a different audience and encourage that audience to pursue their dreams, to, to do what they believe they can do in life. That's a huge goal. I fell on the floor laughing at him, but he did it. He was successful. He was successful. So if you have a goal, a huge goal, go for it. Don't worry about, oh, it's unrealistic, it's this, is that. Because if you set a mediocre goal and you hit that goal, hey, I'm going to lose five pounds in 2015. Okay, so you lost five pounds, but you're going to end up disappointed anyway because that wasn't really, that wasn't a huge goal. But if you say, I'm going to lose 20 pounds and you hit 10 to 15 pounds, you get a good nutritional program, you ha you're in a good workout program that's sustainable for the rest of your life. Okay, you set a huge goal. And even though you only partially hit it, you still are better off than you were before. So set huge goals. And I have a three-part three, three, three part formula, even though we focused on just the H today, huge goals. Set huge goals. Imprint them in your heart, in your mind, on a piece of paper. And finally, take action. This is the HIT formula, H-I-T. Huge goals, imprint them, write them down, and take action. Because if you don't take action, you'll never be successful, regardless of what goal you have. Have a great day.